other than actually confirming that a Black Widow movie is happening with Kevin Feige, like, pointing up to a logo, we know it's coming. But hey, let's talk about the payday that Scarlett Johansson's gonna get. Scarlett's gonna make a lot of money. She's gonna make like 15 plus million. Probably a little bit of that sweet back-end deal that it's like, hey, if the movie makes this much money, you get this percentage. That's Robert Downey Jr. lucrative money. Um, and the Black Widow movie's probably gonna be really cheap to make, you know. 75 million, 100 million tops. So when it does like 600 million in box office, it's gonna be pretty huge. So realistically thinking of it that way, Scarlett Johansson just scored herself a giant payday. And not only that, it's reported it's only for one movie. So imagine if the movie's being projected, they're like, look, we'll make 600 million. Cool, let's sign her on for 15 mil. Then the movie makes like 900, maybe a billion. She could come back and be like, right, I'll do two more. Give me 25 a pop. And it'll probably happen, right? But they're just both playing that negotiation game. And realistically, they don't know how Black Widow's going to do. Because it is a step backwards, right? From Captain Marvel and all this explosive and crazy good stuff. But at the same time, I'm picturing Mission Impossible Black Widow. So that sounds pretty impressive within itself. So this could be catering to a whole new genre. So 15 million, some people have said, oh, that seems a little bit low. Hey, let the first one come out and see if she can carry her own franchise with Black Widow. Then she'll make more money. And then there'll be a female team-up movie, which they're all going to make, like, crazy bank. So I'm pretty sure she has nothing to worry about. And people were concerned. And at the same time, she's already rich. She has Avengers money. So... You know, pretty good for themselves.